what stop? And after I'd read that poem, uh, <laughs> someone came up to the stage, one of the, I can't remember who it was, because there were five, six or seven people there, even in the audience. <laughs> and he said, the goblin that stole your DNA, was, was he a human goblin? <laughs> I thought that was very funny. <laughs> the standard of people that come to my gigs, you know. <laughs> How am I going to follow that? Fuck it, I'm going to do cauliflower Jesus. <laughs> It's a crowd please, and I'm enjoying this then, so it's, uh, this is a crowd please, and it's, uh, it's a point I wrote in the Trafford Centre in Manchester a couple of years ago, and uh, on Black Friday, Black Friday is when everything's half price, and I was in the, uh, I was in the Holland and Barrack franchise, fighting with the other customers over the essential oils, and uh, I was in the process of resting a bottle of lavender off an old lady. And in the melee, she was explaining to me about the healing properties of turmeric, the gold uh, powder. It's fantastic, it heals everything. And she said there's even one school of thought that um, reckons that when the three wise men visited baby Jesus in the stable and took him gold, frankincense and myrrh, well, the gold was actually turmeric. And she also told me that the, uh, the anti-cancer properties inherent in turmeric are actually enhanced uh, when you have it with cauliflower. So I wrote this poem on the spot, it's called Cauliflower Jesus. <laughs> when Jesus was only young, his mum sent him out to the shop. She said, get a cauliflower son of God and I'll make something that will stop the disease process in all of us and prevent us from getting old. I'll make a sauce with that gold stuff of yours. Cauliflower Jesus it's called. There's a chorus coming up now, you can join this if you want. <laughs> Cauliflower Jesus, it's a sacred feast. Cauliflower Jesus, it came from the east. Cauliflower Jesus will rejuvenate you. It's like cauliflower cheese, but it's made with turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> There's some tenuous rhymes coming up in this verse, but I'm amongst poets, aren't I? So, you know, I know you'll be supportive. Apparently it's antifungal, and they say it's antiviral, it's believed to be antispasmodic, and allegedly antibacterial. <laughs> <laughs> it's got anti-carcinogenic properties, and it's supposed to be anti-aging, and Jesus is anti-loves-it, that's his anti-Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Three wise men brought the recipe. They came to Jesus' birth. They said, this is a dish for the people that will bring love and peace to the... I'm going into a Jimmy Sullivan <laughs> That will bring love and peace to the earth. And good women health to all men with glad tidings of great joy on earth. And everyone can afford it because you know what's a Collingworth. And the people did warm to the recipe and did eat it every night. And they did grow in health and confidence and did start standing up for their rights. And lo, they developed hope and courage and did start standing up to the Romans and the Sadducees and scribes were worried where's all these fucking healthy people coming from? <laughs> it's cauliflower Jesus and it's coming from the east cauliflower Jesus food fit for a Pharisee cauliflower Jesus will resurrect you it's like cauliflower cheese but it's made with turmeric <laughs> it takes a sinister turn now. now there's a pharmacy in Bethlehem that plays on people's ills they make money out of suffering by selling prescription pills. They cast doubts on homeopathy and they ridicule Ayurvedic. And they say you can't have a cauliflower unless it's prescribed by a medic. <laughs> so Jesus, we're in big trouble here. Jesus, are you listening? The table's set for last supper here, but the cheese sauce isn't listening. The turmeric's gone missing, Messiah. What are we going to do? Someone sold it to the pharmacy. I think it must have been Jesus. I feel sorry for you, Jesus, because it's a treacherous feast. Is this cauliflower, Jesus? It's because it's come from the east. And you've got to be careful, Jesus, who you give it to, because some of these bastards, Jesus, will want to persecute you. Yeah, it's called cauliflower, Jesus. It's a recipe from the east. And because it's gold and precious, it turns people into beasts. They'll say that you're the devil. They'll say that Turing's Lucifer. It's only cauliflower, Jesus, but man is going to crucify you. <laughs> <laughs>